Hey everyone, today we are on our way to a beaver pond. It's almost dark out. We're gonna put up a trail camera to watch beavers build. See what they do during the overnight hours. Oh wow, is that a moose? I don't know if anyone saw that, but I think there was just a moose in the road. I think it just walked in. Oh, there it is. See it over here? Yeah, he's staring at us right there. Yep. Moose. Yep, he's staring at us. Yep, he sees us. Alright, here's our turn. <clears throat> this is when it starts getting a little bit rugged. Alright, we have just continued on to another road, which is an ATV trail. We are allowed to proceed about one mile or so until we get to a sign, no highway vehicles beyond this point. So we're gonna have to walk about a half a mile on foot once we get there. Here's a pretty big mud hole. The culverts collapsed, so they're letting the water go across here. I hear a lot of frogs, listen to this. I'm putting the windows down. frog sounds out there. I gotta be careful on this road. It's very bad. It feels like the cars tip so much right now. The road's really crooked. Today we are coming back and we're going to retrieve that trail camera we left at the beaver pond. We're going to see some beaver activity from last night because they should have been right over there to help repair it. This is a very, very bad bump. And this is as far as I can drive. Unless I'm an ATV, this is a recreational trail. Can't drive a vehicle beyond the sign, so I gotta walk the next mile. All right, now, in order to retrieve this trail camera, I gotta go down this treacherous ATV trail. There's so many moose tracks. The area smells like manure. Must be a lot of giant moose piles 
that I'm not seeing. So the beavers have one dam, a second dam, and I'm hoping for the best because they definitely stopped what I did. Now I think we'll have some beavers on the trail camera because I don't hear water anymore. What I did yesterday, almost exactly 24 hours ago, came over here to the beaver pond and I made a tiny little slit, only about six inches thick. That's like a six foot dam, just a tiny little bit to make water. That away, I was able to put a trail camera up. Hopefully get some beaver footage. And thankfully the trail camera's still there because there's not many trees. That was actually a fear of mine that they may have cut down that tree in order to dam it up. But let's take a look at the beaver's repair job right in front of this camera. I didn't use one of the best trail cameras because I wasn't sure if they were going to take it or not. But that's their repair right there. Yep. They're fast workers, I bet. As soon as they noticed that, that was probably solved very quickly. Tro camera. Right now I'm going to a beaver swamp, so the rest of the way is on foot. There was a sign back there saying I couldn't drive any further unless you're an authorized vehicle. So I left the vehicle there and we got about a half a mile walk ahead of ourselves. Beaver Pond looks pretty big on the map. Let's see if it's the same in real life. Even if I wanted to do this trail and ignored those signs, I don't think I could have. Look at this. There was a sign back there saying, warning, next half mile water bars. You know, I probably could have made it. Once I'm up close to it, it's not as big of a dip as it looks like from far away but still don't want to get stuck out here. No signal, not many people around. Here's another water bar. All right, as soon as I get back, I need bug spray. Should have brought it on this trip. Even though I'm walking at a fast pace, mosquitoes are still able to land on me, so I gotta keep my arms swinging around, kinda. All right, I'm about halfway to where I'm going. So it looks like they just did this right here instead of putting a culvert in. And it's probably fun for the ATV drivers going through that. Ooh, a frog. A lot of moose tracks. All right, around this corner, supposedly is the beaver pond. You can already see some pretty high water right there. It's getting pretty muddy. Yep, there's definitely beaver activity here. They brought the water right up to the trail.
Here we go. The beaver pond. We definitely got active beavers. I could tell by the looks of this thing. Oh, wow. That's what I was seeing on Google Maps. Right here is like a six foot tall beaver dam, which is holding back so much water. And there's another beaver dam right here, stopping it from continuing downstream. This ATV trail is pretty cool. Getting very rugged. No way I would have made it this far if I tried. But just take a look at the beaver pond. It's huge going off the trail right now. Want to get an up close look. Oh. Snake. Yeah. Whoa, another snake. There's a bunch of them here. Wow, take a look at these sticks. They're so nice. Stripped of bark. That's what beavers eat. Wow, what a beautiful beaver pond. This is amazing. Huge place. Mosquitoes. Go away, mosquito. Awesome. Whoop. Time to walk back. We'll use this trail here, whatever this trail's from. I don't know what kind of animal made this. Yeah, it's probably a moose based on it heading right into the water. Heading back up the way I came. So there was two snakes there. There's probably more of them. I gotta figure out exactly what kind of snake that was. Probably a water snake. They were dark brown, blackish colored. 